Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about file management and organization. So being able to manage your files and folders in Windows is probably one of the most important things you should know how to do because many times when you're doing just about anything such as opening a Word document, uh, saving a file to a flash drive, downloading a file from a flash drive, downloading something from the internet, copying or moving a file, you're going to need to know how to find your files and then keep things organized. So for most people, they use File Explorer for managing their files and folders, which is this guy right here. You may or may not have it in your taskbar. If not, you could click on Start. You might have it here. You could also do a search for it, like so. You could also right-click the Start button and click on File Explorer. So either way, we'll open it up. And when you do open it up, it's probably going to go to either Home or Gallery, depending on how you have it configured. So when you go to Home here, you have your Quick Access, which is the same as you see here. And then Favorites, if you have any created. And then Recent Files, if you've worked on anything recently. And you could collapse these if you don't want to see them. You could also disable those if you like. All right, so how File Explorer works, you have your main listing over here on the left. And then when you click on something on the left here, it'll show you what's inside of that on the right. So you can see here we have the local disk C. This is the drive with Windows and programs installed on it. And if I click this arrow here, you can see it shows us the same thing. And then if you click this arrow here, it'll show you what's inside of program files, which is the same thing as double clicking on program files. You can see we have the same folders here. So in Windows and most other operating systems, your files and folders are in a tree type structure. So you have like your main root directory here, and you have folders within folders, kind of like branches. So you can just double click and just kind of go through them. You know, you might go for a long time, you might just have one subfolder. And then you'll see here, as we start to go through the folders here, it'll start to populate up here. So this is the path that we're in. And if we want to go back to something, let's say we want to go all the way back to this folder here, we could just click on it, and now we're back here. And if we do it again, like so. And another thing you'll notice too, this is called the address bar. If you click off to the side here, it'll show you the whole path. So when I say path, that is the path to where you're currently located. So C is the C drive. First folder program files, subfolder Adobe, subfolder Acrobat DC, subfolder Acrobat. Subfolder Acro CEF. Now we're in this Acro CEF folder, and you can see there's a couple more subfolders and a bunch of files. And then you also have options here to go up a level or back and forth if you want to navigate like that, kind of like a web browser. And then this button here is to refresh the window. So if you made a change, such as adding or removing a file and it's not reflecting here, you can click on refresh and it will kind of refresh the contents of that folder. All right, then also, as we can see here, this has a CD drive and a secondary hard drive here with some files on it, which I could expand like so. And when you click on this PC, this will show you all of the drives. So C drive, E drive, and the D drive, which reflects what we see here. And then right here we have network. So if you're on a network, you might be able to see other computers there, depending on how it's configured. And then you'll see up top here we have some other tools, and they're grayed out. But that's because we haven't selected a file. So let's go here, for example. Now you can see once we click on the file, we could use some of these other options here. And if you hover your mouse over them, it tells you what it could do. Cut, copy, paste, rename, share, delete, sort, and view options. All right, so when you sort, right now it's sorted by name. You could change some of these other options here. You could group by certain categories here if you want. But you'll most likely be using this option here for view. So right now it's set to details. And we have it on details. This shows you things such as the name, date modified, and type. And then you could sort on those columns. So right now it's sorted on name. If I click on date modified, and you can see we have 116.25 is our newest file. And if I click on it again, 
then it'll put the oldest file at the top. And if you want to sort by type, so if you want to see all your PDF files in a grouping like that, CSV files, Word documents, and so on, you could do that. You could sort by size. You could even right click on a blank spot here, add some of these other columns, or click on more, and even add some additional columns. And then you can move them up and down if you want to change how they are arranged over here. And you could also do the same thing here if I want size in front of type. I could do that. If I don't want type, I could right click on it, get rid of it, and that type of thing. And then right here we have details. So if I click on that, it'll kind of give you some details. Depending on the file type, this works better for pictures, for example. You can see it kind of gives you a preview, some details there. But for files and folders, you won't necessarily get a preview, but you might get some information such as the type, the size, where it's located, and date, and so on. And then also another option is to right-click on files and folders. Then you'll get similar options here, such as open with if you want to open it with a different application, sharing, add to favorites, you want to zip it up, copy the path, check the properties of a file if you want some additional information. And we have the show more option here. This will give you some additional options here. You know, similar options such as cut, copy, paste, delete, rename, and so on. And then these three dots here give you some extra options here. You know, undo and redo, uh, make a zip file, add to favorite, some of the similar options that we saw before. All right, so the main takeaway from this video is just that you need to know where your files and folders are and then you could act on them accordingly because if you can't find something then it's going to be kind of hard to work on and we do have the search box here and when you're using this it's going to search based on your current location so we're in documents so right now it's only going to search the documents folder and if I click on pictures it's only going to search the pictures folder so if you want to search the whole computer you could click on just one drive for example or this PC and this PC, if you click on that to search, it will search all of the drives that are on your computer. So obviously that's going to take a little longer. So the key for searching is be in the folder you want to search in, assuming that your file is in that actual folder. If you don't have any clue where the file is, then you might want to actually search this PC or at least the drive that you think it might be on. All right, and then over here we have what's called the quick access. So it's kind of like shortcuts. You can see how they're pinned here. And what Windows will do sometimes is actually pin stuff here on its own, which is kind of annoying. You can turn it off, but what it'll do is take folders that you commonly use and pin them there, thinking you want them as a shortcut. And then you could also manually pin your own folders. So let's say I'm on this drive here, and I want this backup file pinned because I use it all the time. I could right-click on it, pin to quick access, or I could also drag and drop it over here as well to pin it and put it in whatever location I want like so. So now if I'm on this PC for example I don't need to go into the drive and browse to it I could just click on my shortcut right here. And up here on the top left we have some new options here. So new folder, new shortcut, uh, bitmap image, text document, compressed folder, so these options might vary a bit depending on what types of programs you have on your computer. Then you also have similar options when you right click in a blank area. When you go to new, like so. Same for your desktop. And let's say you make a new folder. It's going to call it new folder by default. And you can see when that text is blue, that means you could type over it. like so. And if you want to rename it, you could right click on it, rename, and you can see how it makes it blue again. Like that. And then of course if you don't want something, you could delete it. You could right click on it, choose delete. You can highlight and press delete on your keyboard. And if you're in here, you can click on the trash can. And by default, Windows will send it to the recycle bin. So if I were to do that, it's gone, but if I go to the recycle bin and say sort by date deleted, you could see it's there and I could right click on it, restore it, 
We should put it back there. And let's say you have another file you want to restore, but you don't want it to go back to where it was originally deleted from, which we'll show right here. You can simply drag it out of the recycle bin and let go, and now it's there. And then another nice feature of Windows 11 is being able to open multiple tabs. So let's say you want your documents in one, you want your pictures in another. That way you could just kind of toggle between the two of them, or three of them, however many you open. And you could actually copy files between them as well. So let's say I right click this, copy, and I went over here. I could right click in a blank spot paste and now I have that file over here and of course if you want to move something you could right click and cut so cut moves copy copies so if I were to do the cut option here you can see it kind of grays it out a little bit and now I could right click paste it here you can see it moved it out of there and put it there so cut is move and copy is just copy all right so that is your basic overview of Windows file management there is a lot more to it but I just wanted to kind of show you how File Explorer works and how to kind of navigate around so you have a better idea how to manage your files. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.